Hi guys, it's uh, Ryan here from the Private Banking Forum. Um, just uh, going to do a recap for today. Uh, those of you who are following um, the forum and uh, my journal, um, just stated that I'm not going to uh, keep doing these live uh, trading videos anymore. Um, we might do some more in the future, but for the minute I'm just taking a different angle to what I'm doing. And, uh, just trying to develop my trading further, but I'm just going to um, explain uh, what I did today on um, on the euro and uh, into this F FMC minutes, and I'm just going to sort of step by step talk through what I um, was looking at and, um, and how I approached today. So uh, starting from um, from the top, um, let's look at a, a daily sort of perspective, and um, what what we've had here is. Uh, We've um, formed a bracket and uh, we've come down. We found buyers and um, we've seen um, this market come back up and we've got excess gap and we came back up and um, we see a, a balanced scenario form and as the moving averages uh, uh, caught up with this market and then um, the other day with the news from Larry Summers um, we opened gap up on um, on the next day and uh, we opened up at the highs of the brackets and we see a sort of long liquidation rally and um, we didn't close this gap out we left an excess gap in RTH and uh, we spent the last sort of two days balancing here and um, what we have here what we had here this morning is um, is this balancing area I'll show you two seconds Ooh. so going into this morning we had this sort of balancing area form so obviously what I was looking at is the extremes of this uh, of this balance area and um, this excess that we we have this 42 area and um, what we see is obviously the market just open up and balance but I'll go into this further in a minute and um, it also like it just lined up great with a couple things I mean we had a uh, a meters a meters VWAP which I've uh, tagged here from um, the lows of uh, this current market where, they, where we found support and as you can see we've just been basically seeing uh, this market out of balance to the upside and uh, sort of a trend forming and this is the gap up on on Sunday and since the gap up we've basically just formed more balance as this value area is caught up and every time we've, we've hit this balance area we found buyers and um, a rejection and today was just perfect we lined right up with um, the lows of the profile which was at 42s so as we came down to the lows of this uh, value area at 42s um, it was just um, perfect with the lows of my composite, which is right here at 42s, and um, the day time frame bracket, which we've been in, which it would have been here, and uh, also it's right at the lows of yesterday's lows, as you can see. I mean, yesterday's lows was, uh, uh, was it was roughly about f in the 40 area, so I mean it's just a perfect trade location to buy the lows and to see what happens. So I mean what we see today is obviously like I said, is we've seen a a, um, a rotation to the lows. I just, just started to establish a long position. We're also out of balance on the month, and um, we were testing the the value area low for the week right here again at forty twos. Well, this was at fifty, but I mean, it's in that area, and uh, so I established a long position here, and um, I managed to get uh, just on this um, this pullback to to yesterday's low, low of day and uh, it was also below the initial balance and we saw some some key absorption down here I'll just show you so we see some key absorption and buyers stepping in here and um, we did have an incomplete auction but we did see a nice buying response here back up to VWAP and we, we continued to find balance and held initial balance and uh, eventually broke through and we started migrating up higher I mean, I'm just going to show you when the news come out at two o'clock. You can see the um, this market's how out of balance it was. You can see all the crazy random algo fills. But so um, see, so yeah, I was continue to explain what I was doing here. So obviously, I got long from here, and I managed to get scaled out um, as we rotated higher. And I didn't really be wanted to. I didn't really want to hold this um, position into the FMC announcement unless I had a very good um, profit on the trade because of the risk involved. So what I ended up doing is banking some good risk, and I mean, just before we uh, we went into this announcement, we broke out in J period with with good force. Um, we broke out of yesterday's range, and uh, and we came up to the high of the composite, and we see a rotation back down to yesterday's high of day, and we see some key buying absorption here. I'm just going to show you. 
Um, so we see some key buying absorption here. So we, we we've come up and we've we've filled in more volume and um, we've put in some decent volume up here, which shows that there is interest in these higher prices. We came down to do um, yesterday's high of day and we see key absorption here, and um, then we see uh, them lifting the offer into um, into this news announcement. So what? When, as soon as I saw, saw see all this happen. I just thought that it all lined up so perfect. Um, I'll just leave my stop at um, below the initial balance low, and uh, I'd already banked some good risk in this trade. So I just thought I'd bite the bullet and sit through this announcement. And um, I mean, what I was looking at at the time um, is I didn't think we were going to get such an explosive move like this from straight off the off the off the gun. And I was just looking for a possible target error. So I mean, I was looking at this uh, this point of control from basically this high, this high here, I was looking at the point of control from there as a potential target and before this mark, before I could even react to anything this market just just blew higher and I basically just got out of this trade um, around this sort of area so I ended up missing out on some great opportunity here but you just win some you lose some and um, I suppose it was a lucky trade anyway so um, ended up banking some great profits so it's not, um, it's not the point but I mean, just it was a bit a bit frustrating because uh, I mean I could have jumped back in, but I just just let I just sat here and watched in amazement of what happened. But I mean, there were some great potential ads here. I mean, we came back and um, we tested uh, the out of out of band um, on RTH to one and a half stand deviation, and then we see another swing up, and then a rotation back down to value, and just some real good sort of uh, trade locations to um, to add to this position. But um, like I said, I just ended up getting out of the the the, the thirty four. Uh, sorry, the forty, the one three four forty area, and uh, ends up missing all this profit. But I just thought I'd explain um, what I did here today. I mean, what gives me what gave me the, the the biggest heads up was the fact that we we I mean, Jim Dowton's is a, a big fan of this. Is, is going with a move out of balance. So I mean, if I split out this J period and then merge this together. Oh, sorry, hold on. You can see that this is what I was looking at into today's open, uh, into into the news event. I mean, we had this clear balance area and um, this excess of the bottom where I got long, and then in J period we just we just broke we broke out higher away from this distribution and balance area out of yesterday's range, which was just a clear heads up to me that that there was there was big bias present and they were here with force. Like I said, they bid it up, and then we see a, a rotation back down to yesterday's high day. We saw key absorption, and then lifting the offer back away from yesterday's um, range, which is just a clear indication that there's a but there's an imbalance to the buy side, and there's other other time frame participants getting aggressive. So um, just just give me a key heads up to um, to do what I did today with this trade. So anyway, um, I mean this might be a way that I'll continue to do these videos now. Um, I might just uh, do a, a daily review of how I what I did and how I tackled the day, and um, who knows, I might do some more tr live trading videos. I'll just uh, we'll see what happens here. I'm not too sure where I'm going with with this, but anyway, if you have any questions, um, just please uh, ask in my journal on my, on the forum, and um, hope you had a great day today. Anyway, take care. Bye.